the processing data side, I mean, the, the oldie but goodie in that space is the Google image labeler. This is kind of a game where two people play together and they identify images. And it was the data that was being collected was used to improve search results for Google images. Um, Folded is a game that uh, gives you full proteins and uh, that data would be helped used to uh, cure diseases. The kind of the, the famous thing that happened with Foldit was uh, scientists spent like 10 years trying to figure out the proper folding for this um, protein that was important for HIV. And uh, they couldn't figure it out in 10 years. And then three weeks, gamers figured it out using this game. Um, the creator is now working on Duolingo, which is um, a language learning game where you translate the internet and people kind of like grade each other on their abilities to uh, translate it, and like who had the best translation. <laughs> and uh, you start learning these new languages while at the same time translating Wikipedia into multiple languages. Um, <clears throat> this is the kind of way we're going to be able to generate this kind of great data in the future that we haven't been able to get in the past is like by building games for it. Um, See, so it's kind of applying this to learning. Um, learner expectations are changing, so it's important to know about these kind of technologies. They're being exposed to these technologies, and they're going to expect us to know about them and use them appropriately in the training. Um, this goes beyond just kind of the fidelity arguments now. It's like, do we need to have good graphics or not? Well, it gets a lot more hairy when it's like, do we need to have NFC chips tracking things, or do we need to have um, VR goggles, or how are we going to... Uh, um, meet our learners' expectations. Also, we're getting this push versus a pull mentality. Um, we're going to be pushing learning content to people where they are, and we need to know what devices they have, how they can use it, uh, how they're feeling about it at that moment, because you don't want somebody to get dumped by their girlfriend and then say, hey, this is a good time for learning. Um, <clears throat> you know, and what they're going to have available at that moment. Um, you want to involve learners in the process. So learners are the same people who are using these games and uh, um, expecting to create content for the games. Why wouldn't we want to leverage them in, in building learning content? Um, they're going to be expecting to be involved. Um, so how do we prepare for that? Um, I think curation is going to be more important than creation as everyone becomes a creator. The 80-20 rule is 